All right, today, guys, we're going to be installing some Bilstein 5100 series um, leveling struts and shocks uh, all the way around on my 2015 F-150 Platinum. And <clears throat> if you don't know why I'm doing this, it's um, the rake. And if you're watching this and you're familiar with the F-150s and newer ones or even the old ones, most of them have that front biased rake, which I don't like. So we're going to get rid of that today. Sega. a little before picture it's not a full install video it's just going to be kind of a quick before and after so that's what it looks like right now driveway is fairly level so um, the, the bill scenes I got uh, should be about two inches of lift and uh, I'll go walk you through those next so that's coming up next all right guys this is what I got um, this kit I ordered from Stage 3 Motorsports. Always great prices, always great shipping, always great service. So thank you Stage 3 Motorsports for putting this together. Um, what you see here is, is two new rear shocks and two new um, shocks that go up inside uh, that's basically struts. Um, and the cool thing what Bilstein's done here is um, they've created a, a leveling kit, if you will, that has different levels of spring purchase here. So uh, this is obviously full um, low, if you will. I'm going to move this snap ring up when I install these. This gives you about two, just a titch over two inches of, of travel. And what this has done, instead of putting a, um, instead of putting a spacer, which is really easy and really inexpensive, um, on top of the strut, which basically lowers the truck on top of the suspension, um, what they've done is you take the old stuff out, pull the old spring or the old the old uh, shock out, use, reuse the OEM spring and the OEM spring perch and you move the snap ring up here. The spring sits higher up on the shock, uh, therefore raising the entire truck and this whole, this whole system is designed for that height uh, and everything else. Um, <clears throat> this kit I got on sale at Stage 3 Motorsports for 375 bucks shipped. So I think all in all it's fairly inexpensive compared to the other options out there. You can get I looked at getting Fox and Icon, and uh, I don't know how much longer I'm going to keep the truck. And I think that the Fox setup with the coilovers, we just pull everything out, put everything back in. Probably be a little bit easier install. Um, it's a lot more money. Maybe it's a better suspension setup. I'm not sure. The Icons, there's, they've got various different stages, and I'm sure that they're going to be pretty uh, killer for off road. But uh, I just wanted to get rid of of the rake, and then I wanted to get rid of the really bad washboard um, travel. The back end on this truck just bounces all over the place going down a washboard road pretty quick so hopefully the rears will take care of that the fronts are obviously going to uh, we'll be able to raise that and get rid of that rake so I'm kind of killing two birds with one stone with I think personally one of the le least expensive and probably safest options uh, as it relates to um, manipulating your suspension so uh, all the stuff I can do in um, in my garage uh, I got a, a big spring compressor that my father-in-law brought over which would be great but I'll walk you guys through this and, and uh, it's not going to be an install video but um, um, we'll kind of do before and after, so that's what I'm doing today. All right, got the first one in. Took about uh, two hours <clears throat> to get all apart, put it all again in together. And so I'll get up underneath here and show you guys a few things. Um, install is pretty easy, uh, and I have obviously raised this up, you know, the spring perch is up a little bit higher. One of the questions that everybody's been, uh, well, not everybody, but some of the stuff that I found online was whether or not you need to replace this upper control arm because at full droop, which is what it is right now, um, is this gonna make contact? And so you can see it's pretty close, but it's not gonna make contact from far as I can tell. So um, that's one side right there. Again, install is pretty easy, pretty straightforward, and uh, so far happy. So I'm going to do the other side and then uh, put it down on the ground. We'll take some videos, but uh, so far so good. All right, I thought I'd show you guys just the comparison of the two. Um, Bilstein's and OEM. Obviously, we've got the OEM here, the Bilstein that I'm putting in. I've got these just about butted up. 
and the shock body itself is pretty much the same length. There is a little bit more travel. You guys can see that maybe an index finger's worth. Um, let's see, you guys see that? So, um, which makes sense. And then the only other thing, again, shock body is the same length. Um, a little bit more, a little bit longer piston, looks like in the Bilstein, um, about a finger length. And then the other thing that I wanted to show you is the piston diameter itself is a little bit bigger on the uh, Bilstein. And um, probably just by a couple millimeters, but I'm sure it makes a difference. And then the other thing is there's a metal dust cap on the OEM, and this is fully sealed. So looks like it's probably threaded on here, but anyways, uh, just a comparison to so you should see kind of what you're doing. Obviously, this is where the I moved the snap ring up, so the spring is now going to sit here and go up, versus before when the perch is on here, it sits down a little bit lower. It's going to go about down to here. Uh, we, so it's uh, 2.1 inches is what they say this the lift this gives you. So. Anyways, uh, on the other side, and then uh, I'll put the uh, put it all back together, put it on the ground, and we'll take a video and see how she looks. All right, guys, all finished. <clears throat> Front and rear's installed. It's about as level of ground as I could find. Uh, the driveway is a little bit slanted forward, but um, as you can see, made a pretty good, pretty big difference. Now it hasn't settled yet, so I suspect it's gonna it's gonna end up with a little bit more rake. Be my guess. But uh, I like it. I'm happy with it. I did take it for a drive, and uh, the suspension is definitely a little bit firmer, but not in a bad way, in, in, a, in a controlled way. Uh, one thing I'm not too sure about is I did feel like it made the steering a little bit lighter. So um, we'll see. No complaints. Really happy with it. Took about four hours to install. There's the Bilsteins back there. And of course, front switch. <clears throat> sort of see. So, ultimately, really happy with it. So, um, this truck has the inch and a quarter bore spacers, and it has now the Bilstein um, strut leveling kit. So, uh, 2.1 inches put on in the highest setting. And drives nice, doesn't drive any different other than the suspension feels uh, more controlled. It's a little bit firmer, but uh, not in a bad way. So we'll see. I suspect, like I said, it'll settle, but happy with it. So there you go. For 375 bucks, really can't go wrong. Anyways, see you later.